So guys, Viz will introduce you. We've got Wukash here. Wukash is going to wish he wasn't here. We've been working the West Point Ride in class today. Uh, West Point Ride as a submission uh, came to me after I'd been in contact with a couple of wrestlers and I'd seen this thing called the West Point Ride being used as a pin. And all of a sudden I thought, you know what? We can make the guy suffer and tap with this. We can use it in a jiu-jitsu context. And I had a good chat with a good friend of mine called David Mendelssohn, a Canadian wrestler, uh, now lives in Germany, teaches out there. Uh, and we talked about the potential of a submission. And obviously, someone with nice long arms, West Point Rides is gonna be very, very useful uh, to attack. So from a jiu-jitsu context, go to it all here, point your head to, to the camera. From a jiu-jitsu context, I've been getting it a lot in sparring from here. Okay? Now obviously from a wrestling context, a lot of the stuff I've seen on YouTube from a wrestling context has been from the starfish position. Okay? Whatever you call this in wrestling, because he doesn't want to get turned over and pinned and people were going to like a uh, gut wrench type position to try and turn him over, come back up. But that's never going to happen in Jiu Jitsu. This is going to happen. Okay? And even if he closes some gaps here that make opening his knee, putting the hook in difficult, Okay, if you missed that video, you can go and watch in the corner and come back. If that's difficult, he's protecting his neck, but he doesn't always worry about this. Okay, so even if the gap is relatively small, a lot of the time I can work my hand. Okay, so just to show you what we're talking about, I'm gonna be controlling my side right, punch the hand through, connect, and I'm gonna tip him here. Okay. And it's a little bit different to the wrestling context because that's not a pin, okay? And I don't want a pin. In fact, going to the pin takes away all the pressure. So if we turn this way now so the camera can get a, a view, what I've seen from wrestling clips where they start here or, or they end in the West Point is a lot of them are going to a head on the ground position and running all the way around it. Okay? And they get into positions like this, and he tries to move, he tries to get out, but his shoulders are on the mat. I've won, it's wrestling, okay? I don't want that in jiu-jitsu. I actually want to half finish the West Point ride, okay? And what's going to happen is he's going to feel immense pressure through his ribs here, okay? Unfortunately, I have popped some guys' ribs in training. This is how I know this is effective. Or he's going to feel it on the neck, depending on how folded he gets when we do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is punch my arm through, okay, and I'm going to grip my wrist and grip just below his front delt, okay, and there's three things that can happen from here, okay, he turns away from me, he puts himself into it, okay, we're going to go with him, he stays where he is and I put him into it, or he turns the other way, and we take the back. Okay, we use it as a conventional back take and we start to attack from there. So his only hope is to turn to me and expose his back. If he stays where he is or if he rolls away, rolling away is not a good idea. Okay, you're gonna put yourself into the West Point ride. So the pressure is gonna come from my shoulder or my chest, depending on how he moves and reacts, into his side of his ribs. So, for me, I actually have to dip my shoulder a little bit, okay? I want my shoulder right in the side, not over the top, okay? So I dip a little bit, my shoulder now is connected into his ribs, right up high in his armpit. And I'm gonna pull his arm out from underneath him, and I'm gonna drive him onto that corner where he's got no base. And I twist, and I drive forward, and now I stop. And I keep the pressure there. So I'm hovering in that point between going all the way around him and him coming back, okay? I want to keep him in the position of most pressure, yeah, of, of worseness. So if we point the head this way now, so catch, catch. I'm going to dip and I'm going to take him to that corner. And now my chest is going in because he's rolled and there's his tap. Okay, so my chest now is pressuring in. So I'm holding him, I'm holding him where it's immensely horrible for him, okay? And if I go too far, I really want to bring him back before this happens, okay? So 
I don't want to overcommit and dip. Okay? Because if I walk around and I dip, that's when I'm going to fall and he's going to come over the top. So, one, two, I stay here. Okay? I don't walk to here and fall where he's going to come up on top. Okay. Uh, let's, let's attack this side now so we can see. So I'm here, I sneak my hand through, boom, and I catch. Okay? My shoulder is in his ribs. I'm going to pull this in as I dive to the corner. I put him on his shoulder and I walk and I walk and I stay here. I don't keep walking so that I fall off the top and allow him to come on top. Okay? Obviously for wrestling, I will walk over the top, but I'll take this leg with me so that I have base and I keep him in a pin position as we saw at the start. So, from a jiu-jitsu point of view, it's something I've been catching a lot of people are very uh, unsuspecting. Okay? Now, if he resists from here, he resists this. Okay? And he doesn't go. I'm still just going to drive him. And now he's done. Okay? Because as long as I block that delt here, I can run him over that. Okay? I have to watch my balance, I have to watch for falling off the side as we've talked about. So, this and the spladle is something from wrestling that I've been uh, trying to adapt for a jiu-jitsu rule set. So, hopefully you like it. You know, have you tried the West Point ride in jiu-jitsu? If you have, leave me a comment, tell me how you get on with it. Okay? When we do it in training, be very careful with your training partners, especially if you're 100 kilos like me, you know, Wukash. We've been doing this for the last hour and I think Wukash has had enough now. <laughs> so, thanks very much for watching guys. Please come back again, subscribe for more videos. We're almost at that 5,000 mark, so thank you very much. We'll see you again.